Hello, in this video we will try to create that grid that projected on a curved surface. So let's get started. Let's delete that grid. And I will add a plane and I will hide my object for now. Let's change the orientation. And I will give two segments. And I will keep those numbers the same. And I will make that plane editable. Now I will select all my polygons, right click and extrude inner. After that I will collapse. Now I will select my middle point and I will bevel that. Something like that. And I will delete the middle polygon. Now I will press Alt, select my object and press clone. And I want to clone on X axis and remember that our plane has 400 centimeters height. So I will put that here and I want something like 40 clone. Let's make that. Uh, and I will also change the color to bright. Okay, let's do the same thing again. Press Alt, Monograph, and Cloner. But this time I want two counts and in the y axis 400 centimeters. But <clears throat> I want some offset. So in the X. Axis, I will give 200. Now the same thing, Monograph, Cloner. This time we need two cloners, so I will give 800 and something like 12. Okay, now I will add connect object, so this is gonna make cloner objects into one. Let's unhide our object and I will scale that grid. Something like that. Okay, for now let's hide our grid. And I will work on the on that surface now. I will duplicate that and name that surface target. And I will move those edges. And make them bigger. This is going to be handy when we project our mesh or grid. And I will also add subdivision surface. So we will get a symmetry projection. And I will make that subdivision surface editable. Let's rename that again. And now I will duplicate my target and name that target2. This time I will select all my polygons by pressing Ctrl A and I will scale them on the Z-axis. Scale to zero. Let's unhide our grid and let's snap that mesh into that grid. Now I will go to my first target, right click, character tags and pose morph. 
I will select points, remove that pause, we don't need that, and I will add my new pause and say yes. Animate, and now we have something like that. Let's hide that. Well, we will use that for projection. Let's unhide all grids. I will make a group, new group, by pressing Alt and G, and I will add surface deformer in that group. In surface deformer tab, you see that a surface tab. I will add my surface target right here, and I will press initialize. So, if I move my strength of the pose morph, you will see that all grids will be projected on that surface. Okay. I will add connect object to all grids, press Alt and connect. But before making it editable, I will go to my plane, go to edges, click, select that loop. And I will make a selection. I will press set selection, so now we have a selection, now we can make it editable, or connect object by pressing C, but if you subdivide that, we don't get a sur smooth surface, so we need, uh, let's, let me show you, okay, if I at the subdivision surface it's not that bad but I don't know if you can see but they are not perfect smooth so I will make a new group and I will add smoothing deformer so this is the effect that it does so I will right click on that group and press current state object. Now I will add shrink wrap deformer because all mesh is not smooth. It needs to be proje projected on the surface. So, I will go to my shrink wrap and put my surface target in the target object. So, now we have a perfect smooth mesh. I will right click that group and current state object again. Now, we automatically selected all the edges that we needed to extrude, because we made a selection. So, I will press Ctrl and make some extrusion. And let's... Put all grid into a subdivision surface. Yes, now we have a perfect smoothed object.
Uh, by the way, I will put that uh, model that I pre-made in the description so you can download and play along with me. So that's it. Thank you for watching and see you in the next tutorial. Bye.